بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد ومن تبعه بإحسان ومدينة فكه فديع تأويل رفعنا بعلم تنار ومفعنا زن علما الحمد لله نتبيره هي إن شاء الله we're going to be speaking about the علامات العرب the signs of declension for the جمع المذكر سالم for the sound masculine plural the sound masculine plural so for example مسلمون مسلمين before we can speak about that, we need to understand what we mean by alamat and arab. Alamat and arab are the signs of arab, yani the signs that indicate the concept of arab. When arab, when it's a way of the kingdom, the definition of arab is the definition of arab is the changing that's happening at the end of the word because of the changing of active elements entering upon it. So that change that's happening at the end of the world will sometimes happen happen with the original signs, which is the Dhamma for Raf Muhammadun, the Fatha for Naslab, Inna Muhammadan, the Kasara for Jar fi Muhammadin, and the Sukun for Jazm, Lam Adhab. But sometimes this Arab, Raf, Nas, Jar, and Jazm will not happen with the original signs which we just covered, but rather it's going to happen with an Aramat and Faraiyah. It's going to happen with the secondary signs. Which is, for example, an alif or a ya or a kasra or a fatha in certain scenarios, or a hat or noon or wow. So here we're going to cover how the jamr mudakkar salam, the sound masculine plural, it takes secondary signs of arab. It does not take the original signs. Those secondary signs are like this: for the rafa, it takes al anamat faraiya, which is the wow. So the sign of muslimuna, the sign of muslimuna. Being marfu' is the wow. It's not a dhamma, but rather it's a wow. So Muslimuna is is here marfu' bin wow is marfu' is in the position of rafa' with the wow, not with the dhamma. So it takes a secondary sign. The nasb and the jar both take the same sign, very similar to jamu mu'anna salam. The sign of it being mansub and the sign of it being majrur is in both scenarios aya. So ra'aytu al muslimina. I saw the Muslimin. Muslimin here is the maf'unun bihi, is the object of the verb, so it's mansubun. The sign of Muslimina being mansub here, being mansub here is a ya instead of a fatha. On the other hand, fi Muslimina, fi Muslimina here is majrurun, but the sign of it being majrurun is a ya instead of a kasra. So both for nasb and jal, the sign of the jam'u the kasan being both mansub and majrurun, in both scenarios it's a ya. What will let me know which one it is, is the context. Here is a mafronum bi, so it's mansub. Here is after a so it's obviously majrurun. So those are the signs of Arab for the jam'um with the kersana. In all scenarios, it takes a secondary sign, which is a wa'af for the rafa' and a ya, and also a ya for bujar and nasab, and the context lets me know which one it's going to be. So now that we covered this, to give you a brief summary of the jam'um salam, the sound plural, right? In the Arabic language, we have two types of plurals, two types of plurals that are sound, the sound masculine plural and the sound feminine plural. And both of these two types of plurals, they take secondary signs of Arab. So what are those signs? For the Jamu Dhaqqa Salam, we just covered. For the Rafa, it's a wow, Muslimuna. For the Nasab, it's a ya, Muslimina. For the Jar, it's also ya, Muslimina. The Jamu Mu'annas Salam, the sound feminine plural, likewise takes uh, it takes a, 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 an original sign for the rafa or the original sign for the rafa, which is the dhamma. So al muslimat here is marfu' of a dhamma. But for the nasb, it takes a secondary sign, which is a kasra. So muslimat, muslimat here is mansubun with a kasra instead of a fatha. And the sign of it being majhurur and jam'u on the salam is also a kasra, so muslimati. So the jam'u mudhakkar salam and the jam'u anna salam, they're both similar in the sense that for the nasab and for the jal, they take the same exact signs in their respective fields. Here it's two yas, here it's two kasras. So the sign of the jam'u anna salam being mansub is a kasra, just like the sign of being majhurun is a kasra, and the context is going to let you know which one it is. Likewise, the jam'u mudhakkar salam, the sign of it being uh, mansub is a ya, and the sign of it being majrun is a ya, and the context will let you know which one it is. So then the very brief sense is the alamat and arab, the signs of the arab for the two types of sound plurals in the Arabic language. I hope the video was clear. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Jazakallah khairan. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.